Alrighty guys, how's she going today? So she's a hot one out. Supposed to, apparently supposed to feel like 90. Uh, we do have some storms coming in, which would be kind of a good thing in a way because it looks like my grass is getting stressed, getting stressed out again. I was thinking about watering my front yard yesterday, but they were talking rain, so nothing ever happened. But it looks like we might get some rain today, or later on to the evening, which I guess will be alright. So, but uh, yeah, she's definitely a, a warm one out, and uh, whatnot. So, but yeah, my, uh, we never really could figure it out. Um, you guys know that we, well, we have an air conditioner problem on the tractor. Well, I got an air conditioner problem on the damn house. In the house. So, it's, it's not draining the water out like it should be. It dumps it right onto the floor. So, I didn't feel like fucking with it last night. It was freaking damn near midnight when I was fucking with it. I was like, I ain't gonna play around with this cocksucker. So, I just put a pail under it for, for the night. Uh, we didn't run it all night anyway, but it seemed like it was kind of a slow drip, so... Um, what ha there's a drain line that comes out of the air conditioner and it's supposed to push the water that it takes out of the air. It's supposed to push it through the line and push it outside. So then dumps it outside. Well, for some reason it was dumping it in the house. It looked like maybe the hose was kind of slipping off. Cause they, they got one of those freaking springy clamp kind of things. They're kind of they're stupid for one thing. Um, I'm actually going to maybe, uh, I, I, I pushed the hose further on there to see if that would fix it, and it seems like it's still got kind of a slow drip, so, but I need to, need to have a real test, so the air conditioner has to at least run for about an hour or two, so I can, uh, see if it'll still continue to piss out like crazy, if not, then I'm going to take that, uh, that clamp off and I'm going to put on a hose clamp so that way it kind of allows me to play with it a little bit more um, see if I can maybe readjust everything and maybe get it to stop pissing all together it's pissing on my floor and it literally soaks the crap out of, well it's actually in in the closet, there's a little closet there uh, that's also where you would charge it too, they got the, the connectors in there too so you could charge it if you had to um, well it just it, I fixed it this morning a little bit. It just seems like it's got like a real minor drip to it now, but still can't really have a drip. Um, I was maybe just going to take the hose off. Um, well, what I'm thinking is that either the pipe that's that this rubber hose is supposed to slide on, I'm thinking maybe either that's, I thought maybe that was cracked. But it seems like since I, I pushed the hose on more now, it's not pissing. But I haven't really had a chance to really test it either. So I'm going to look into that. I'm going to play with that all freaking day today. Um, it's just too damn hot to really be doing anything outside. I'm just going to make this video and that's about it for today. Um, so, yeah. So I'm going to play around with that, figure out what's wrong with that. And uh, hopefully I can either fix it or... If I can't stop it, I would either have to start rednecking something, so instead of pissing all over my floor, it pisses into something else, and then goes into the drain line, or I may have to call, I'm not sure who you would call, an AC person or something that would deal with ACs, and um, I guess they'd have to look at it and see if it's maybe a cracked pipe issue, or... This air conditioner, you know, is like 30-something fucking years old, and it's probably going to start having some problems. So I may have to get a new one in the next few years. Hopefully it'll hold up for another few years, but if not, I'm going to have to get a couple um, portable ones then, I guess. I was going to get one for my room, because this air conditioner can't keep the whole room, the whole house cooled. So my room kind of gets the warmest. I don't know why, but it does, because of course the sun's right there, so... 
but what are you gonna do, right? But so yeah, so I've had that little. I mean, we've had that problem all summer, but I never really could figure out where the hell it was coming from. I was like, oh, I gotta spend some time, and I gotta, you know, actually stand there and watch it and see what the hell it's doing. So I finally did that yesterday, and that's it's pissing out of that damn drain line where it connects up to the air conditioner inside the house there. So, because it's one of those mini split units, but it's in a much older, bigger, clumsier version of it. Nowadays, they're a lot smaller, but still powerful, and they're a lot more quieter too. These, this one's pretty fucking goddamn loud. It's like listening to a jet. So, but it does the job, keeps the house pretty cool. So. Not gonna complain too much. I don't like that it's pissing on my floor, but I put a pail under there last night, so that'll, cause, you know, if the floor continues to get wet like that, it's just gonna rot the floor out. We don't need that. So I have to try to figure something else if we can stop that from happening. So, but yeah. Anyways, I don't think I've ever made a video on um, these books for the tractor that I bought a while back. I bought these shortly after I bought the 1586. Um, I figured I'd show you guys because maybe you guys might be curious because these are not they're supposed to be originals but they're not original. You know, they're, this, this company just remade them again. As far as I know, I don't think they're actually originals. So, if they're original, they would just be saying Case IH or, or International Harvester on them. So, but they're made for, for this tractor. So, um, yeah, let me go show you here, boys. Okay, so this is the first book I pick up. This is just the operator's manual. It covers all. It covers the 786, 886, 986, 1086. The 15 and the 106. I, it does the 14 too, but they don't have it marked on here for some reason. Uh, they must have forgot it or something, but it does cover the 1486 as well. Um, this is just basically, this is the operator's manual. This just tells you what everything does and how, how to use it. Um, see, it's just copied off the original book, you could say. Um, this is a company anyway that uh, right here I found these books so I got two books here I found these on eBay but that is that's their website too you can find their website and they have other books for like New Holland uh, it shows on the back here who they all kind of do they do New Holland Massey Harrison International Harvester Massey Ferguson John Deere Alice Minneapolis Moline, Oliver, Cox, Sut, whatever. Uh, whatever that tractor brand is, never even heard of that. Silver King, Caterpillar, Case. That's about it. But you can see that these books are not, you know, they're supposed to copy the original ones, which I can't, you can, it's hard to find the original ones unless they came with the tractor, which does happen. I've seen some internationals go up for sale in Tractor House, and they still come with the original books. But these are not original. See, it does cover the 1486 as well. Um, but this is just the operator's book, you know, what everything does, and tells you how much oil you need in your motor, and all that good stuff, you know. So, I'm not going to go through every page, but just to show you, you know, the books that I got for the tractor. Okay, so they are out there. Uh, they're ex the one. This one was a little bit cheaper. The other one was a little bit more expensive. But but this one here is the operator's manual for the Farm All Internationals. And that's the models they cover. They do cover the 1486 as well. They just don't, for some reason don't have it on there. It's just operator's manual. Okay, and then the big one that you definitely need for sure is is the park book and I just strictly got one for a 1586 I didn't get one for all the model tractors because they're all the same basically anyway the only difference between the other models are the engines everything else is about the same but I got a 1586 so that's what I got again same company this is just the parts book 
um, which is really nice because it gives you just about everything you need. Um, like there's the tilt steering kit, you know, that I want to get for mine. Um, and they even have a nice little picture here of a 1586, which is pretty cool. Um, the TA, all the you know the parts for the TA, they got a breakdown of it, you know, and then the wiring for the lights and stuff. And apparently they had two two different kind of radials. Even one was a CB, a built-in CB radio. Um, just gonna show you guys how. I found the, so what I had to do, so here's the antenna for the radio that I bought, that's what they look like, part number 15, okay, antenna complete, um, that's, I believe that was the part number 11, um, you know, whatever, whatever, right, so, that's what I gave him. But he says that those part numbers no longer exist. They, uh, they, uh, they changed the part numbers. And my screen went dark for some reason. Why does it go dark? I don't understand that. It just seems like it went dark. Huh, I don't know what the hell happened there. Whatever. So, and then those are front rails or channel channels whatever the frick they call them I think that's where your loader mounts to there's a quick hitch that they made, they made back in the day which I wish I could find one for mine original um, you know it's, it's got the breakdowns of every part pretty much it doesn't exactly tell me how to recharge the air conditioner on mine which I don't believe it did so in there that book it showed what they did like well, how the air conditioner worked, but here's the blower, you know, for the air conditioner or the heater too. The fan needs to get replaced. I gotta put the fan on me because I'm boiling over here. There's not much for a breeze out there, and if there is, it's warm. So and uh, whatnot, and the compressor for the air conditioner unit. A bunch of numbers that will never. Um, let's see here. Wheel weights. I need to get more of those. And then here's your dual wheel setup. So, and there's your compressor again. There's your blower. So, then they have everything pretty much in here, except I don't think they tell you how to recharge the air conditioner, which you think that they would. There's the front weight weight bracket that I get, and plus the weights, which I mean they don't make them anymore. You have to find them somewhere, but I'm sure in an at or a case I H could find them. Unless you went to a junkyard, then you'd probably find your own. But uh, yeah, they just it's basically it has all the parts, and like here's the PTO. This is for only for, I believe for only for the 1,000. So. Because the 1586 is normally only came with the 1000, they don't have the 540 as well. Um, so, but it's, it's basically got everything you kind of need. So, like that there, that's the part number for the tilt steering kit. So, brakes, tools, uh, shows where the serial numbers are supposed to be for the machine and whatnot. And, so, yeah, that's basically it right there. That's what I, that's what I ended up buying um, on eBay. So, that's what I bought right there, freaking right. So, yeah, those are the books I bought for the tractor. Um, I managed to find a book for the New Holland Rake that we have. Uh, but it's only an operator's manual. It's not a part book, so can't find any. Um, but I did find on the website or on eBay, um, they sell teeth and parts for a '56 New Holland rake. So I can find plenty of teeth. So no problem for that because I got to actually order a couple of teeth for it because I'm missing a couple on that rake. 
Um, but at least that's, I'm pretty sure in the operator's manual book there, it will tell me what kind of oil I need to put in the gearbox and, you know, what stuff, and not, stuff like that. Because I just don't want to throw anything in there and it ruins the gearbox. So, um, so that's, yeah, I'm going to actually be ordering that, that book for that rake because I know that next year we're probably going to pull that rake out um, and use it. I'll probably, uh, after I get the bale spear put on the back, if I can actually get it put on this this year, then over the winter I'm going to say about, um, well, it won't cost me a lot, but uh, I'm going to order a, a hitch there for the three-point, or for the lower links anyway, so I can hook up to it. Um, and then I'll find a pin, and then we'll uh, pull that New Holland rake out and put it back to work. It's going to need to be greased. It's going to probably need new tires. The tires that are on there look alright, but they're flat. So I don't know if they would still hold air or not. And just put, you know, fix that problem. Grease it. Check the gearbox. Um, pull it around the yard a little bit. Make sure it's all engaging and working like it should be. And uh, hopefully next year we'll put her to work. Have it hooked on the, uh, on the 15th. But I gotta get the air conditioner to work for next year for sure, because I'm not gonna be raking when it's 100 and something odd degrees out and there's no air. So, because um, we've had some hot days where it's 90 degrees and there's just no wind, and that's not very comfortable. So, yeah. So that's the plans anyway. Um, so. We also have a uh, really old school John Deere rake as well, but I'm not pulling that fucker because uh, for one, that thing's got steel wheels and you have to manually up and down it with the with the big levers. Whereas the new Holland, you can raise and lower it just using the three point. So I want to go with the new Holland. So and we basically got that rake for free. So because the one guy wanted to leave it here and. He moved away and he never took it with him, so but it's been sitting here ever since. It was supposed to just sit here for storage for a couple of years or whatever, but then that guy ended up moving or whatever. He never took it with him, so it's ours now. So I'm going to put it to fucking use. I should have put it to use this year, but I didn't think of it, so... Um, but I thought of it just... I thought of it just a few days ago. I was like, well, I was telling him, you know, the young guy. I was like, well, fuck, I could have pulled that bitch out and... Put some new tires on that and, you know, give her hell. So, yeah, and this, this thing's reading about 86. Yeah, about ish. It's supposed to feel like 90, so that thing's getting faded. I gotta get a new one, but it's still working. Um, so, yeah, that's what, that's what, guess what we'll do. Um, we will just pull the old rake out and uh, put her back to use, put her back to work, get some use out of it. It's been sitting, it's been sitting for a lot of years. Um, so it will be uh, an interesting thing to use. It, it would save the young guys some bullshit too of having to bring his rake down. He brought his rake down last year. Um, he had it on that little Super M or whatever there. You guys have probably seen that video and from last year and that worked I got the job done but you know I got my own tractor and we got a rake so he won't have to quite bring all his equipment down here I mean, we need to be able to take some of the work load off of him and we should be able to do a little bit of it ourselves and figured well that would be at least the best thing we could do for now is at least to get the raking done for him I mean he can cut our field we'll rake it I'll rake probably all these fucking fields that he plans on cutting but and this job is not going to be all in one day. I'm going to probably take me a good day to rake one field. But yeah, you can go on uh, YouTube there and punch in uh, New Holland 64 rake. Um, or 50. What is it? 50. I can't even remember the damn part or model number now. It's a 56, I think. You know. Um, just punch that in on YouTube there, and you'll see some uh, videos of it in action. And. Uh, so hopefully I'll be able to do the same here pretty soon, getting that rake 
get some videos on that too. So, but uh, yeah, won't be a big deal. It'll have to come here though to the shop because um, I'm gonna need to do that. You know, all the teeth and stuff here. I gotta be able to use an impact or something. Cause, I mean, we can do it with a socket and a wrench, but it's time consuming. I want to get shit done. So, but uh, if I'm only getting hot for no freaking reason because it's hot out. So, but yeah, that's the two books I picked up for the tractor anyway. I picked them up quite a while ago. I just never made a video on it until now. And then I will be ordering a book for that rake. It's only the operator's manual for it. It's not a parts book. I can't find a part book. They, they make the ones... I can find part books for the 57 and up. Just not the 56, so... Which kind of sucks, but I was able to find an operator's manual. So I guess that's better than nothing. And I think it's supposed to look original, too. It's not supposed to be like... Up, well... Not sure if it's supposed to be up to date or if it's supposed to be original, but original's alright too, because I can work with that. You know, so. It'll tell me what kind of oil I need to put in the gearbox, and uh, it doesn't matter what kind of grease you use, just as long as you grease the son of a bitch. It's definitely gonna need some grease, that's for sure. Probably even gonna need some WD 40 to clean it up. It's got some old grease on there, and it's actually rusting a little bit. The, the cranks, there's cr a couple of cranks on there too. When you move them, the rust just flies off them. Grease would probably help it, but might grease them a little bit, and if that don't help much, I'll probably put some WD-40 on there and then grease them again. But uh, yeah, I mean the rake's in good shape, so I mean it's the paint's a little bit faded, but well, what do you expect? It's been sitting out. It's been sitting for outside for so many years, but uh, that's what we'll do. I probably could even get it fixed. I mean, I could do it this year and be done with it and have it ready for next year, but um, I gotta have all the money I can get just to buy that damn bale spear. So I don't really feel like spending a lot of money on, you know, tires and grease and teeth. But it's nice to know that they're out there so I can find them. I'll have to order the teeth. Well, I mean, we have a New Holland dealer around here. I, I suppose they could get them and they probably even have them in stock. I don't know. It's not an actual New Holland dealer. Well, they're New Holland and something and something else all put together, I think. So we'll find out here when I go um, down to that town and look, because um, I can't remember now. But I'm pretty sure it was a New Holland too. So I mean, they probably could order some teeth. They might even have. A few, I mean, really, I only need like two because the other ones are fine, I think. So I mean, if they're a little rusted, who cares? They're, they'll still do the, do the job. I'm actually missing a couple. So, I think I might even be missing a couple of the brackets to the hold the teeth in, so I may have to order a couple of them. That's where that damn part book would have would have been nice to come in, but no, they don't seem to have it. I don't know if I could go on maybe on the New Holland website, maybe they'd have it there, I don't know, but I'll keep looking around, see what the fuck I can find, but main thing is, is I found at least one book for it on eBay, so that won't be too bad. And, uh, so yeah. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it. I just want to show you guys those books that I got, and, uh, the next book that I plan on buying, which is, like, what, $15, probably. It's a lot, it's a lot for just a damn book. Yeah. So, yeah, and they're starting to haul more fucking concrete over there again, too. I don't know what the fuck they're doing with the concrete, but it's gay looking. So, but yeah, so anyways, guys, that's pretty much all it. Just want to show you guys those books. Like I said, that's what I picked up for the tractor. So, basically have everything I kind of need. I don't know if there's any other books I need for these tractors, but that's what I have anyway. It's more than enough, I think. But, uh, so yeah. So anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.